Keep walking. Come on. Come on. Come on, brother. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. Push it, Liam. Push. The purpose behind the strength club was to take a group of veterans, bring them out here to an austere location, and face them with a set of circumstances where it created some vulnerability, it created some uncomfort, those things, okay. adversity, all that stuff builds character. And by coming together as a team and lifting each other up out of those holes, it provides a valuable opportunity for us to reset, refit, so we can go out and serve our local communities and serve our families when we return to regular society. My name is Mike Truax. I served in the Marine Corps from 2004 to 2012. I'm currently serving as the strength club captain for patrol base Abate. We use CrossFit to create the intended stimulus that we want. One of the beauties in both CrossFit and what we do here in the strength club is that it doesn't matter. There's no prerequisite for fitness, right? You don't have to even really know anything about strength. That's why you're coming to us is we're here to inspire you. We're here to mentor you. We're here to teach you and help you on your path. So whenever our participants come out here for one of our retreats, whether it's the strength club, the book club, the fight club, art club, or barbecue club, the whole intent is to provide a space for these guys or these girls to come together and to work together, to share their interests with each other and build each other up, right? We lead it, but it's really ran by the group. And you know, there's a lot of challenges with building a patrol base like this. So, you know, anybody who does come out can expect to do some work, right? There's some working parties to be done. We're always trying to build this place and turn it into something better than it is. And, you know, that takes a lot of work. So there's definitely a lot of work involved, but the, there's also a huge payoff, right? So anytime you have the opportunity to build something and, and serve others and create a space that is going to be a benefit to others, there's a lot of value in that for you as an individual because it gives you the opportunity to, to serve and that in and of itself is a healing thing for most people. I was expecting to come together and you know do stuff, do tasks. So this is what we did but it's so different than other retreats I've been to with other veteran organizations because there's such an open discussion about what's really happening to veterans. What, you know, what are we going through? How can we you know, refit and refresh the skills we have and the skills we learned while we were serving and apply them to our lives and make our lives better now. Um, and I really think that that discussion, that real discussion about, hey, just because you're out doesn't mean you have to hang out at home and, you know, think about the good times. Um, but that's, that's really meaningful. And you don't get that just with any veteran organization or any retreat you go on. So. I think that blew my expectation out of the water. I wasn't expecting that. I think I was expecting just to come together and have some fun and work out, but it was so much more than that. You know, we've all raised our right hand and sworn to protect our country. Um, and that is, um, you know, that's a great service. And to bond with these people who swore the same oath is uh, really meaningful. Um, it was, and coupling that with this this club retreat, the strength club, um, it really felt like just like playing Marine again. You know, we you know we're just all about getting after it, um, just hard charging. You know, no matter how hard it gets, we just got to keep moving forward. Um, just facing that physical adversity um, and coming together to rise above that was just um, it's an experience that I'll never forget. What I experienced was something pretty phenomenal about how quickly we were able to build a connection, being really one of the only ones that were active duty, as well as being so so new to the Marine Corps. I, f I was worried I wouldn't have common gr much common ground, especially because so many others have, have had a full career in the military, and they, they have had so many c shared experiences that I have yet to take part in. But what I found was they were 
they're welcoming. They, it's like I, I came here to the strength camp to, to learn, to gain maybe some sort of insights that'll help me moving forward, taking care of my own Marines. And you know, I achieved that. I achieved that standing on a, a 45 foot cliff, looking down at some water. The thing that attracted me to this particular organization is that they said, we're not looking for anybody who, who would say, well, I'm just a, or I only did. Uh, they were very accepting and welcoming, no matter how you served or the way that you served. And truthfully, uh, being in the band, it, there always has been like a stigma of, well, I never was deployed. I didn't, I mean, certainly people in the band can be deployed. However, I wasn't. And I had almost like a sense of guilt for not um, being deployed. And actually being here at the retreat, heard somebody say, oh, well, so-and-so was a peacetime Marine. And it was just a very welcoming sense of like, you didn't have to serve because you served in a time period that we were at peace. And so it wasn't a, you were only, it was a, yeah, you're still one of us. One of the great things that we witnessed over the weekend was how the group of veterans really came together. When we first started out, nobody knew each other. There's like a, a lot of unknown, a lot of social aspects that are out there. People don't know, you know, how people are gonna react to different statements and everybody's just trying to feel each other out. The way that everything was put together, all of the adversity kind of takes all that stuff and sets it aside and strips everything down to raw, right? So the only thing that really matters is like, we have to get through this task together. And whenever you're focused on those things, it really allows you the opportunity to circle back around and refit and come out of this like in a better place than whenever you entered it. And that's the goal is so that we can take people and improve their quality of life a little bit here and show them what they're capable of, use that adversity to build their character, and then they can turn around, take that character, go back and lead their families, lead their communities, and carry on the mission of PB Abate. If a service member or an active duty um, person is thinking about coming to PB Abate, I would tell them to think about coming with an open mind and being prepared to push. Not physically, though you will, but being prepared to push yourself to think about what does your service mean um, and if you're active duty, how can you be a service member, whether you're a Marine, a sailor, an airman, or a soldier, how can your service, you know, pave a path that the other service members will have strong leadership and healthy understandings of their experience so when they get out they're not dealing with the extreme range of emotions that most veterans deal with because they're not discussing what's going on while they're active duty. And to the veterans who are coming out here, be ready to talk and not talk out loud, but maybe you need to talk to yourself. Maybe you need to hear what other people are saying and process that and come back to yourself and work through some things. And I think that's happening here. Um, it definitely is, but I think if you can at least be prepared to do the work, um, I think you'll get a lot out of it.